Hey guys, I am here today doing your five minute ab workout, which sounds so cheesy for me to say. Um, as a Pilates teacher, it's very rare that I give people ab exercises because the Pilates method of exercise always focuses on core work and always uses our core. So no matter what we're doing in Pilates, we're getting a core workout, ab workout, but yet, I know, like sometimes you just want to feel your core. You want to feel like you're strengthening your core. Sometimes you're at home and you just need a little something to do, maybe five minutes a day, something you can add, you know, before you go for your walk or your run in to do um, to strengthen those core muscles. So that's what today is. It is just a quick little sequence that you can do where you will feel those core muscles and you will strengthen that. So it's a great thing to add in. Maybe you could do it every day if you wanted. Um, yeah, so let's do it. I have with me today a TheraBand. So I have like a five foot TheraBand. I'm gonna start and fold it in half for the first little sequence we're going to do. And I'm gonna use it as a little support system behind my head. All right, so what I'll be doing is laying back and the TheraBand going to be right at the base of my skull. I'm going to lay back with my legs bent and my elbows are going to reach forward and I'm going to nod my chin toward my chest. I'm going to come up into what I call an upper ab curl. Now when I'm here, the things I want to focus on are that I don't feel like I'm over like working my neck. Really, I'm not working my neck much at all. Um, this band is supporting my neck. My elbows are reaching forward and I'm actually trying to push my head back into the band. So I'm not coming forward. I'm actually pushing it back the entire time, which creates a little work. And I'm pulling my stomach muscles in and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do these little bitty curl ups. Right? So I'm gonna come up and back down and I'm gonna do this 10 times. Definitely you'll want to breathe. I like an exhale on that coming up. And what I'm focusing on is can I pull my stomach muscles in to come up while I'm still keeping my head pressed back into this band. Kind of feels like I'm trying to just barely come off the tips of my shoulder blades and then up and back down. I'm gonna do like four more. Shoot for 10 of these coming up and down. And again, you want to like feel those stomach muscles. You want to feel yourself pulling your muscles in to try to do that little bit of curl up. It's like you could, you get to your upper arm curl and then you get just a little bit more. We're going back and forth so that we're really feeling those muscles. And then you get to come back and take a little rest. Now we're going to do the same thing in a little bit of a rotation so we can feel our obliques a little bit more. So I'm going to come up first and then I'm going to do just a little twist. And same idea with my head and neck. I'm pushing my head and neck back, elbows forward, and then I'm going to do those little one and two and three and four. Make sure you're breathing. Just pulling my stomach muscles in to get that little curl up and I'm bending in my back just that little bit by tightening my stomach muscles in the whole time. And remember, don't let yourself work through your neck. You're pushing your head back so your neck feels long and supported as you do these. And again, you're going to shoot for like 10. We'll do like two more there. We're in that twist. And then I'm going to come back down, take a little rest. Okay, we need to do the other side. So we're coming up. I have my head supported, my shoulders down. I'm in my curl. I'm going to twist and then I'm going to try to come up and back down. My hips are holding still and I'm really just pulling my stomach muscles in to get that lift and back down. It's like I'm trying to do a roll up, just coming off of the tips of my shoulder blades, curling up and back down. And again, we'll shoot for 10 of them. If 10 feels like too much, take a rest and back down. And back, I'm gonna do like two more there. Keep that head pressing back. Um, note, this is sneaky like arm and shoulder work too as you support your head. So you do get a full body workout. And then I'm gonna roll back down. All right, so we're gonna come up. We got one more thing we're gonna do. We're gonna use our hair brand around our feet. And you're gonna wrap it around nice and wide. And you're gonna 
choke up quite a bit because what I want on this is that your arms are straight. Kind of feels like you're locking your shoulder blades into place. You can do this with legs bent or you can straighten your legs. I'm gonna start with bent legs and I'll show some in a little bit with um, straight legs as well. So with my arms straight, I am gonna tilt my pelvis. I'm gonna rock back until I'm starting on my sacrum, on that flat bony part of my hip. So that's my start position. Already those core muscles are kicking in. Now what I want you to do is I want you to start off and I want you to roll back what feels like an inch in your mind, right? You're gonna roll back an inch. You can inhale on the way back. Exhale, pull your stomach in and come back up that inch. And I'm staying in my safe room. I'm not coming all the way up. I'm already starting back here. And then I'm pulling my stomach in. I'm gonna go back two inches. One, two. And then I'm gonna exhale, pull my stomach in to come back. Notice I'm not moving my arms. I'm not pressing out. I'm not trying to muscle through with my arms. I'm trying to do this all with my stomach muscles. And now I'm gonna go down and I'm thinking of my low back trying to get, hit the mat. One, two, I'm gonna see if I can get to three. And then when I come back up, I'm pulling my stomach muscles up and in to come back. Next time I might go to four. One, two, three, four. If you get to a number where you can't come back up without cheating, then you went a little too far on your way back up. Okay, I'm gonna go one more. I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five. So at the furthest, go to that place like right before you get to the tips of your shoulder blades and then come back up, right? Once you've figured out like how far you can go back and do the movement from your abdominals and not trying to press with your arms or try to kind of muscle through it, then we're gonna do like 10 of those. We're gonna inhale back, exhale forward. Okay, wherever your place is. And back up. And you're continuing to try to feel your back roll into the mat. And then those stomach muscles internally pulling in to come back up. Right? Your arms are strong and straight. And it feels like a little bit of work to keep those shoulder blades kind of locked into place so that your stomach muscles can pull in, roll you back, curl you to come back up. Right? Lots of work from our center going back and forth and what you're going for again is just like feeling that movement through your low back mid back and coming back up lots of control of course i lost count so we're gonna do like three more and then coming back up good all right awesome all right those are just a few things you can do to feel those core muscles. That's a great little sequence you can add in anytime at home. Um, strengthen those core muscles, kind of feel those core muscles. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Be sure to check out some more videos on our YouTube channel and you can find us at www.rivercitypilates.com.